Despite a tactically sound point from Federer, it's Roddick who wins it. You know, Roddick gets in trouble by dropping the ball really short, but then shows some great defense, and Federer not able to do enough with the overhead, and he can't get to the net close enough or quickly enough. The slam dunk. Roddick with a little hang time here. Fifties ups. It's huge. That is huge. Having great replies on big points now is Roddick. He's pounding away at the forehand that opens up the court. He's not afraid to go to the fetter strength. And that second set. Whoa! Roddick crushes the forehand. 92 mile an hour response. Wait, Federer's going to say something to Muhammad Leoni about, I think, Roddick making that grunt. No, he was complaining about a call that didn't come, and it, Muhammad Leoni said the linesman was unsighted. Love 30. To get to break point. But what's Federer doing? What is he doing allowing Roddick to tee off on forehands? Three Another forehand yeah. winner. Fourth of the game. So Roddick gets the break. We'll see if he can hang on. to the heavens. He got a little extra help tonight, I guess. There is the thank you, Doug Screen. It's been an awful lot of work to get back to this place. Well, this is a feel-good moment for tennis. No disrespect to Federer, but the sport needs Roddick, too. And Andy Roddick defeats Roger Federer for just the third time in his career. Seven six one six six four.